Today, we are going to explore some unique and powerful tools that every ethical hacker should consider adding to their arsenal. From tiny computers and deceptive USB drives to advanced wireless testing tools. First on our list is the Raspberry Pi. This is a series of small, single board computers that you can use for a multitude of tasks. Its small size and low power consumption make it perfect for remote operations and deploying small servers. You can use it as a honeypot to attract and observe hackers, set up a network intrusion detection system to catch any malicious activity, or even create a wireless jammer for testing purposes. You can use it to learn coding, build IoT devices, or even set up your own VPN. By the way, if you enjoy this type of content, smash that like button. Next up, we have the rubber ducky. Now, don't let the name fool you. This isn't your average bad toy. The rubber ducky is a keystroke injection tool disguised as a generic USB drive. It automates keystrokes at superhuman speeds, allowing you to execute a wide range of commands on a target machine in seconds. This tool is valuable for testing the robustness of your system against malicious USB devices. The rubber ducky is much more than a USB drive. It can automate payload delivery, rapid entry of commands in penetration testing, or can be used to disable antivirus software on the system temporarily for testing its response to potential attacks. Moreover, it can be used for automating routine system maintenance tasks. Next is the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Apart from creating a rogue access point and sniffing packets, you can also use it for connecting man-in-the-middle attacks to test how data can be intercepted and modified, or for conducting evil twin attacks to test devices' ability to differentiate between legitimate and rogue networks. And don't forget about the Proxmark 3. This is a device designed for RFID and NFC analysis. It's invaluable for penetration testers needing to work with these types of systems. It can be used for cloning cards, cracking encryption keys, or even emulating cards. The Proxmark 3 is a great for RFID and NFC analysis. Apart from cloning RFID tags and cracking the NFC payment systems, you can use it to conduct replay attacks to test system response to repeated data, or even to simulate a RFID reader to understand how it communicates with tags. Now let's talk about the Hack RF1. This software-defined radio is a must-have for any serious ethical hacker. It allows you to experiment with different radio frequencies and understand how to protect systems against radio frequency-based attacks. It can be used to analyze GPS signals and test the robustness of GPS systems against spoofing attacks, or to perform spectrum analysis for identifying potential weak points in a wireless communication setup. The LAN Turtle is another handy tool. It provides stealthy remote access, network scanning, and man-in-the-middle surveillance capabilities. Disguised as an ordinary USB adapter, it is a powerful tool for covert operations. You could also use it to channel network traffic for covert data exfiltration or to spoof DNS responses to test how systems respond to redirection attacks. The Ubertooth One, a Bluetooth testing tool, can be used to inject malicious packets into a Bluetooth connection to test its security, to discover hidden Bluetooth devices in a specific range, or to carry out a replay attack on a Bluetooth device to understand its responses. Finally, we have the Alpha Adapter, a high-gain Wi-Fi adapter known for its long range and versatility. It's an excellent tool for wireless penetration testing as it supports all six wireless modes, including monitor and packet injection modes. Apart from packet injection and extended range monitoring, you can use it for deauthentication attacks on a wireless network or for conducting word driving to discover 
vulnerable wireless networks in your vicinity. Being proficient in ethical hacking isn't just about understanding code and software. Understanding hardware tools and their potential uses is just as crucial. As always, remember that the goal of ethical hacking is to improve system security. Always make sure that you're abiding by all relevant laws and guidelines when using these tools. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights into ethical hacking.